Can we hit him? Go. Fire. Shoot him. Damn. Oh, what the hell? Whoa. Holy shit. They, like, suicided right into our vehicle. Damn, Italians. All right, let's get this uh, Renault up here. Should be good. It looks like our brother here was knocked out of the tank. The explosion blew him out of the top, but he's not dead. That's good. Hello friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome to Greece. That's right, the Greece at War mod is here on the channel and I'm happy to bring it to you. Check the description down below in order to download this fantastic mod for yourself and uh, give a circle seven and a like to the mod makers as well. We've got a small little tank coming up here and uh, it's going to be on the front lines as well as the 75 millimeter cannon that we're going to be using here in just a second. The Italians will be here in just a moment, and it looks like they're already here, in fact, and we've already got defensive positions opening up on them. Oh, yeah, the Greeks are not going to be uh, bu bullied around too badly. All right, looks like we've also got some artillery guns here as well. Let's see how effective those might be. Well, good. Firing AP on one guy is pretty accurate. Let's see if we can uh, switch it over to HE then and uh, see if we can eliminate this entire group here. So again, if you're new to the channel, I would uh, highly recommend that you subscribe for more great Men of War action and of course all different types of mods and such like that. And let me know, by the way, what kind of forgotten fronts do you like about World War II? The Greeks or perhaps the Italians? Ones that aren't talked about too much. Always you hear about D-Day and Stalingrad and a few other places. But what are some uh, very interesting uh, fronts that you really enjoyed? For instance, did you guys know that, yes, indeed, Japan did invade the United States in World War II? Yeah, they invaded Alaska. All right, low, let's uh, go. Uh, do we have AT grenades? We do not. Looks like we got some light British weapons and such. And it looks like, damn, the, Ital or the uh, Italian tank there was making its way through, no problem. We've got a light armored vehicle on this right side that's causing some trouble. So let's send over our, uh, T uh, our FT-17 over there. 37 millimeter on that one. Oh, he's hauling, he's hauling ass over there at full speed. Well, watch out. I might need to pause this so you guys can see it. It's a very fast tank, as you can see. Yeah, it's slow. All right, looks like we got uh, additional tanks and infantry moving up now. It looks like uh, Fiat M1340 is coming up. Bam! Hit, baby. Nice. The uh, Greeks really, really good with their weapons here. They've really got it going on with the accuracy of their AT. All right, looks like they uh, are trying to push through on this right side. Uh, that small tank there is just trying to hold, hold the door open for advancing Italian troops, but it's not going to be. All right, so we've got a machine gun up here. We've got, uh, let's see if we can actually dig this position in. Yes, we can. Let's actually camouflage it as well by clicking that bush. And you'll see that the Greeks have a very green thumb growing some, uh, <laughs> growing a bush right there, so it makes it a little harder to see. We've got some Greek infantry standing by as well, and we can call out uh, additional troops and such, but they're uh, not so affordable at the beginning of the war. Uh, they're not... Uh, not uh, fully equipped, I guess, to deal with the uh, onslaught of Axis forces here today. Which, uh, hey, many people weren't. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can... Boy, this thing's actually being very difficult to kill. 37 millimeters is deflecting every shot like a champ. There we go. Engine damage on that Italian MG. Uh, I guess you call it a tankette. Basically a MG on, on uh, treads. Looks like we've also... Oh no, another one coming in now. Looks like we've also turret damaged it as well. But the Greeks are going to hold the line, no problem. All right, so it is the year of 1940, by the way. It's October, and so just after the uh, successful uh, start of the campaign from the Germans on France. Wow, look at how beautiful this is. Greece is absolutely beautiful. All right, so it looks like one of those vehicles has been destroyed. The other one has actually been hull pierced, so we can actually reach out and capture it. All right, one of these Greek guys is going to go out here. Demetrius Mons is moving out there. Go, brah. Grab that weapon. All right, he's in. We got it. The Greeks are GTAing, baby. Oh man. So if you're Greek, by the way, let me uh, tell me some details about the uh, Greek or the Greece front or whatever they may have called it in World War II. Oh uh, man, really just shredding these Italian tanks as they're very spread out. They're trying to attack. Their infantry is getting demolished. Their tanks are being cut through. Italian officers and such coming up with weapons from the 1800s. Look at that. It's just the start of the war for the Italians as well, I think, as uh, early 1940. Really, a lot of advances were being made. A good um, mortar position as well, the MLE 2731. And again, this cannon here, the uh, 1897. I believe this is a French cannon as well. And it looks like, oh, we've actually got a machine gun position up here that didn't quite get set up. This is an 8 millimeter. Let's go ahead and uh, set him up uh, somewhere on this hill would be very effective. Looks like the uh, Greeks chose some pretty good positions to hold in. 
All right, we've got to defend this village for as long as possible as well, so let's continue to spread out. There's some really great defensive missions in this whole campaign as well. I've uh, played through it before, but really never featured it, so I'm happy to be doing that now. All right, let's get our uh, Greek forces here. They're basically watching over the crossroad if the enemy gets too close. We can uh, fire on them from the, from the hill here onto the crossroad. Look at those guns come in. I like how the uh, cannon shell's been slowed down a little bit. It really, It's really they cool to see. Alright, more Italian forces coming in, and we've got more of those uh, damn armored cars on the way. Hopefully we can pop this one. Alright, Renault's turning its gun. 37 millimeters about to go into the front of that uh, Caro. Let's actually get this vehicle up here. Here we go. Oh, hold on. Can we hit him? Go. Fire. Shoot him. Damn. Oh, what the hell? Whoa! Holy shit, they like suicided right into our vehicle. Damn Italians. All right, let's get this uh, Renault up here. Should be good. It looks like our brother here was knocked out of the tank. The explosion blew him out of the top, but he's not dead. That's good. Okay, additional forces are coming in along the road. We're doing a good job of clearing them out. I think we can... Uh, looks like we don't have enough points to call in anything else. We can call in resistance fighters, but uh, we're not going to do that at the moment. Let's uh, get our gun pointed in the right direction. Though. That'd be useful. Watch out, another Italian battalion is attacking from the west. Oh my god, they flanked us. Wow, very successfully too. I didn't even expect that. All right, let's get the tank turned around then. We're going to have to haul ass over to that position. Uh, looks like we've got a machine gun. Well, let's flip our machine gun around. Oh man, they're going to try to cut off our reinforcements. Let's get the resistance group in here then to see if we can uh, get them from a couple of different fronts. And let's turn this AT gun as well. This uh, smaller Schneider uh, 1912 model. Damn, they're getting up here. All right, resistance fighters, come on in. All right, AT gun dealt with those uh, tanks very effectively, and the machine gun is opening up. Let's get our uh, troops back here as well. All those bastards. Italians are going to take this position if we're not careful. But they're rushing a machine gun, and they're caught between three positions now from our reinforcement point, the front that they just walked into, plus the tank coming across the road. This is going to be epic. Oh, beautiful. Yet another armored car destroyed. A little tankette knocked down. All right, let's roll up here. What do we got coming our way again? Yet another little armored car. It's good action here. Very interesting to see these forces clash. Not too uh, not too many uh, common occurrences that you hear about these. Oh, look at that. Another destroyed. Good thing that wasn't our tank. All right, do we have HE? We do. 37 millimeters of HE. Let them have it, boys. No machine gun on this either, so it's just basically the main gun. And that's a good way to cut them down. They're all clumped up. They don't know where to go. Resistance fighters are getting into position. Really just called up and uh, told to grab their rifle. The Italians and Germans are coming. All right. We've almost got this position crushed. I'm going to send the tank back over to that right side. Doing so should be able to knock down those armored cars coming in. All right, head over there as soon as possible. Looks like the Italians are not having a good day. But good day to them, and goodbye. All right, let's turn that AT gun around. Looks like he's already doing his work. Good. Another vehicle coming up. Beautiful shots on that, man. They're just meeting heavy resistance as they're coming down this road. All right, some of our guys are still pinned down. Oh, it looks like we've got uh, forces here as well, resistance fighters that were called out to this side as well. I don't know if these guys just came out of the village. I don't remember calling these guys out. I mean, that shows how good of a commander I am. Hey, where'd these guys come from? All right, let's get into the woods here. And by woods, I mean literally two woods. There's like two trees here. This map is absolutely gorgeous, man. Greece is just uh, an incredible place. And no wonder they want to defend it uh, so heavily because uh, it's such a beautiful country. All right, we need a medic. Where's our medic? We need our medic. Who's the medic? Oh, we're going to have to find him. I'm going to have to split these guys up and find out which one is it. See if we can rescue this guy on the right side. We got a little bit of a rescue mission now. One of our guys has been wounded. Let's get our uh, medic over. Hopefully he uh, he survives. Beautiful tanks here now. Careful of that guy's fence. We don't want any property damage here. I'm sure this war will last maybe uh, one or two days. You know, not not too big of a conflict. All right, eight millimeter. Let's see if we can shoot from here. Oh yeah, our gun needs to open up more. Oh damn, they destroyed one of our cannons here. I didn't know we had a bigger cannon up here. It looks like a couple of guys are wounded, too. All right, let's rescue this guy first. I don't know what kind of a gun was up there. And our MG's been decrewed as well. The Italians are starting to pick up their attacks a little bit. Is that the Snyder gun? That's sitting in the back, so we're okay there. All right. The Renault tank is uh, holding the line from the heights. Reinforcements are not on the way, but we do have plenty of troops standing by for another flank if it is to come our way. All right, here we go. 
Back onto the machine gun. I'll heal up first, yeah. Wow, a lot of fire being uh, brought down on that intersection. Ooh, and that mortar really cleaning them up. What do we got for shells? We got about 30 shells left. Let's lock this mortar position down and uh, put it into cover. We're, we're into a prolonged engagement with the Italians. Is this the medic? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get this guy back on the uh, MG. All right, the Greeks are doing a great job holding holding the line here. This is impressive how many vehicles the Italians have brought up against us. Uh, okay, I guess he's going down there to handgun them. All right, let's get off that position. All right, so he's from the earlier destroyed gun. I don't know what happened there. But that's one less gun we have to bring against the enemy, which is not good because they're bringing more tanks and troops. Objective completed, though. Defend the village. You've defended the village for your life. All right, so I'm assuming then what will happen here is, uh, unfortunately, due to, uh, you know, constant Italian attacks and such, we'll probably be called to retreat. But I'm not done with the uh, Italians just yet here. Let's uh, bring our guns to bear against them. Let's get a good kill here on this vehicle. Hold on. Beautiful shot. Wonderful engine. I want to see some fire here. Can we see a nice explosion? Let's hit him again. All right, engine damaged on that other flipped-over tank. He's smoking. Yet another Italian tank. Beautiful track on that one, too. Machine gun. Pin him down on the roadway. So just uh, too many too many Italian forces here today. I think we're going to actually have to fall back. So excellent work, though, from these Greek forces. I will see you guys for more of this coming very soon. Again, subscribe, like, check out the channel. All that good stuff. Of course, it's uh, nice to mention it because sometimes people forget. So please don't forget and uh, join us for more great action in Men of War Assault Squad. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.